I just finished my last day of streaming at T1, but there's some stores that I want to hit before we go, so I'm gonna go there first and then come back, and then I think we're gonna go to Lotte World. I want to go to the aquarium and take some pictures and just explore there, and I think we're getting dinner with Kaide later. My hair is so puffy right now. I stopped by Gloney for a little bit. I saw some pieces online, but I didn't see the ones that I wanted in person. So I moved on to shop a memento and their pieces were so nice. They were just way too expensive. They had a lot of other cool stuff other than clothes though, which I did check out. And then I just walked around Itaewon a little bit more and then stopped by stores that caught my eye. dinner and we went to the convenience store to get ice cream after and I got this like red bean one with mochi and he got what, what the that? fuck it's chocolate in the middle but ice cream on the outside try this ice cream I don't know how I'm gonna hold this okay, I don't want to <laughs> We just got to the hotel and this is insane. When you walk in, there's like a mirror and then stuff to put our bags on. The bathroom, a bathtub with a shower and a little mirror, a TV, a couch, two beds. Dude, you know what's lit? And place to put our luggage. And this is the view. This is probably one of the nicest hotels I've ever stayed in. Thank you, right? We just got back from bowling. My skin is so... I haven't had a breakout this bad in a long time. 
which sucks, but I'm tired. It's almost 3 a.m. and I need to get a sponsor out or like edits for a sponsor out. Yeah, bullying was fun. I haven't gone bullying in a really long time. That bullying place was so nice. We are eating some shin. And I didn't bring chopsticks, so we're using a spoon. Good morning. It's actually 1 p.m. right now, but we're gonna go to Blue Bottle downstairs and then we're gonna go to Olive Young because I want to buy some makeup i've been doing like light makeup skincare shopping but i want to get most of the stuff that i want to actually get today and then we're gonna come back drop off the stuff and then we're hanging out with kelly ethan and sakura we're at mom's touch and i just finished shopping <laughs> That looks like Ford. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sweater. I'm gonna get it, I think. We just finished up at a shop and we spent $300, but we got like seven to eight pieces, which is really nice. Now we're gonna go to the mixer. I think we're going the wrong way. I think we're going the wrong way too. I think you're right. We are going to a bar. My friend Jorg invited us to a bar. I believe this bar is either number two or three top bars in Asia. I just don't think I like alcohol enough to enjoy these drinks. They're very curated. I'm the type of person that hates the taste of alcohol. But if you're really into cocktails and you like the taste of some alcohols, I think you'd enjoy this a lot more than I did. But apart from the drinks, the servers are super nice. They're super easy to talk to. And they just genuinely seem really passionate about what they do. This is the last bar we went to. We actually had to go somewhere right after this. But York was like, please, like, can we please just stop by this one bar and get this one drink? And I don't regret it at all. Usually I'm the type of person to stick to a schedule, but I'm glad that we were a little bit late for whatever we were doing afterwards. Spontaneous decisions like this remind me to live a little bit more. Really? Oh, you see the red color of this cocktail? Same with this cocktail. Cranberry, hibiscus, like all sorts of good stuff. That is I'm so ready. beautiful. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. This will be dry lavender. Wow. Favorite <laughs> cocktail? <laughs> Isn't that so good? Yeah. Oh. This one is Yeah, orange peel. Okay, perfect. Yeah, you're gonna love this one. This one was the one that I think I this is like my favorite. Look at, it's like falling, the entire chicken's in here and it's falling apart. That's actually insane. Well today is the first day of the games. It's Love EDG and we're gonna go to Itaewon really quick to get some food and explore a little bit because our friends have not been there yet. And then we're gonna go straight to the game. This is my fit. 
This shirt is from a store that's literally across the street called Open Yard. And then my pants are from Boutoir in Boutere in Vietnam. And I have tigers in my bag. Over under what? Over under. Over under one and a half bag. Or a slice of pizza. gave us free frozen waters and it's yeah, we're gonna go back to the hotel drop off some stuff and then head to the venue oh my god it's so pretty From this point on out, it was just work, work, work. So the day before we had a game, this day we had the vice play test, and then the next day we have another game. And at this point, I was so homesick and tired. I just wanted to eat my favorite meal, which is Japanese curry. And then we took the fattest nap in the world. <laughs> okay, we are packing our stuff right now and just organizing before we leave to do laundry. We're gonna try this, but it's like the peel apart bread. It's bread. I thought it'd be more chocolatey, but it's just bread. Yeah, this is what we're working with right now. We finally took out the suitcase that was in the suitcase, and those are all our dirty clothes, our darks and our whites. And then that bag has our clothes that we're gonna go wash at our friend's apartment right now. Laundry here is $20 a shirt, which is insane. So we're just gonna wash all our underwear and some of the stuff that we really need. I'm also not too worried about luggage space because I was informed that I will most likely do even more traveling next year, so I might get another suitcase. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my vlog. Today we're getting soy garlic chicken. What is this? Chicken. And chicken. This day was a full on work day. So yeah, I just spent the whole day vlogging for my gaming channel, doing a story takeover for Cloud9. And then I saw Kiss of Life. And then we went to go get some food to end off our day. 
How many places open so we're at Heidi Low? Yeah, when I was in China, I drink like one every day. There's so much sugar. They scoop out all of the spices and then they scoop some of the soup into this, these bowls. There's like 50 grams of sugar in there. This is my favorite. to update but we just checked out of our hotel we're leaving our bags in the hotel lobby while we do all this for the rest of the day <laughs> so we have some time to kill so we're at Lotte World and I'm getting like a little soup because I want something salty and we're just gonna go shopping until we have to go to our hotel We got this cheese dusted chicken and then cheese balls and then this weird like white sauce for it. I haven't vlogged since I think Lotte. But we went back to the hotel and then grabbed our luggage and then we went to our new hotel midnight right now and we went down to get some convenience store stuff. I got this ramen and I purely got it only because there's like little cartoon characters on the fish cakes. There's no other reason. I got Jim Beam lemon highball because you guys know. Soju? Oh, good. Okay, this maybe like that better because you don't mind. Can I just do this? Yeah, you take it. Do we try both of them? I'm so tired. I literally unbuttoned my fucking pants. Japan. So this is the end of my soul vlog. I just wanted to say thank you to Connor for sending us out, Ryan for taking care of us, and also you guys for letting this even happen. This is crazy. The last time I went to Seoul, I went by myself for Genji, and it was for League Worlds, and it was fun. It was just just sucked that I was by myself. So I'm very grateful to be able to bring. Colin with me and then everybody that I've met along the way, all my friends that introduced me to their friends and just the friends I already have and I'll be vlogging Tokyo as well so stay tuned for that. So blue